Hello everyone, my name is Artrooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up a 5M server with 5M server hosting using my website hdnetwork.1. Link to this down in the description below. We're going to be using server hosting called a Windows CPS, which is the best type of hosting for a 5M server. It's not a cloud or browser based server hosting experience. It is an entirely virtual Windows PC, a lot better than pretty much every other type of server hosting. Click the link down in the description below, which brings you guys right here to the hdnetwork.1 website and then to the server hosting page. This is perfect for all types of game servers, not just 5M. So you could even run a Minecraft server on it as well if you wanted to. But what you guys are going to want to do is pick the package which suits you best. We've got packages all the way up to eight. And all of these have different specs with faster computers. And you guys can see here, we also point out how many slots it can comfortably support. So even the most basic one can support up to 40 to 60 players and then all the way to eight, it can support up to 200 players and probably a lot more as well. It's really, really good value for your money. And we have a lot of faster specs than pretty much every other provider out there. We have Ryzen 9 generation 7950X. Most other providers have E5s or E3s, literally they're the most awful Intel CPUs that are really old and outdated. And even two cores of our Ryzen 9 7950Xs will outperform probably about four or six cores of an Intel E5. To put it into perspective for you, and we're also one of the only providers out there to provide you DDR5 RAM, not the outdated DDR4. Once you guys have picked the package which suits you best, just click order now. And it's really simple to buy it. All you guys need to do is come to the checkout page, select your location. We've got quite a few options, London, Frankfurt, Virginia, Texas, Oregon, and then Singapore. Also, obviously the calls and everything is already set out for you and you can upgrade it to a different plan in the future if you want. And here you have the option for us to set up a 5M server for you. Our team of talented developers can do that for you if you guys want. If not, just click no 5M server setup and it won't cost you any extra. Operating system is already preset for you. And then for your host name, usually most people just do the 5M server name. It really doesn't matter what you put. Just pick anything. You can just do maybe 5mserver.com. And then for your root password, I would just recommend generating an auto password. And all you guys need to do is click continue and then check out with your selected payment method. Once you guys have purchased it, all you guys need to do is it will auto deploy and set up the VPS for you. Come over to your account, log in, go to your dashboard, go to the home page and simply select a manage next to your VPS. If you click manage, it will take you to your VPS control panel. And then from here, all you guys need to do is wait for it to load and we can actually join and set up our 5M server on the VPS. There you guys go. Our control panel has loaded our beautiful little control panel where we can literally manage the whole VPS through it entirely through the HGNetwork.1 website, including stopping it, restarting it, scheduled restarts. We can change settings, firewall settings, tons and tons of things that we can do through our HGNetwork control panel as well as in the future, always upgrading and downgrading our package as we see fit. But from here, all we need to do is actually connect to our VPS. So we're going to grab the IP, we're going to copy it. We're going to go to the bottom of our Windows search bar. We're going to type remote desktop connection. We're going to open this built-in application, paste in the IP into the computer name, click connect, and it's going to ask us for a account. We're simply going to do administrator for the username. And that's what it's always going to be for every VPS. And the password is right here. We're going to copy the password and then paste it on in. Click remember so you don't have to sign in every time and click OK. Click yes. And then we can actually connect to the VPS. There you guys go. We're in it. As you guys can see, it is a literal virtual Windows PC. And now with our VPSs, we've already preset the firewall settings. You do not need to worry about any port forwarding. You'll be able to join it straight away. So we're actually just going to set up our 5M server. So on the desktop of the VPS, right click new folder, call it 5M server or anything you want. It doesn't really matter. Open that folder on up again, right click new folder. I'm going to call this one server files. Open this folder on up and place it to one side. Now we're going to open the Internet Explorer browser pre-installed on the VPS for you. And we're going to download, first of all, WinRAR. So we can actually open zips, pretty essential and then just download it. Let's download the latest English 64 bit version. Open the exe and install it. Takes a few seconds. There you guys go. We're done. 
And the next thing to install is the actual 5M server files. So simply Google 5M server files. Pick the top one right here from the 5M artifacts and click the top one here to download the latest version. Open it on up in the zip we just downloaded. Minimize, back to your desktop and place it on the side of the server files folder we placed on the side earlier. Control A in the zip and drag and drop it in to the server files folder. We can close the zip on down going to scroll on down until we find the fx server.exe that's pinky red application right here and we're going to double click it to launch it more info and then run anyway it's going to boot up the server console right here which is basically our hub for our server it tells us if anything is wrong or broken and obviously to begin with nothing will be wrong or broken unless you guys mess something up but following all the tutorials you guys will be fine from here we're going to link account and we're simply going to sign in to our cfx.re account. And once you guys have signed in, it will ask you to create a backup password. So just type whatever you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you guys will remember the backup password, agree to the rules and click register. You can save your password if you want. Click next and type your server name. Just do whatever you guys want here. I'm going to do hcnetwork.1 and then click next. And then for deployment type, go into popular recipes and select the deployment type you want. CFX default 5M is good for our vMenu Prime Essentials or Platinum Pro package. It's a vMenu based basic framework. Select that if that's what you guys want. ESX Legacy is basically a very basic version of an economy RP server. Very bare bones. It's something you have to build up from the bottom. And then Cubicore framework is very, very advanced sort of framework that's already built for you. It's like ESX, but a lot more out of the box. You can play it. It comes with a phone inventory system, etc and super easy to use. It's up to you which recipe you guys select. I'm just gonna be doing the CFX default 5M recipe. Just click the one you want and then click save and then go to recipe deployer. Hit next and then it's gonna ask you for a license key. Just click this green little hyperlink right here and it'll take you to your key master page and just make yourself a key by clicking new server. And once you guys have got yourself a key, just copy the key and then paste it on in to the license key box. Hit run recipe, give it a couple seconds and it should be done. And there you guys go, it is done. Once it's done, it'll pop up with your server directory again. We can just close it on down, hit next and save and run server. And there you guys go, we've created a 5M server on our HD network, Windows VPS, and now it is hosted. So we can keep this server on 24 seven. We can give access to developers. We don't have to use our own IP address, much safer with DDoS protection as well. It's a lot better way of running your 5M server and it is a lot better than the other alternatives out there for server hosting, such as a cloud or browser-based server host, which completely restricts what you can do. And then to actually join our 5M server, all we need to do, minimize out of the VPS, come back to our control panel, copy the IP, open up 5M, press F8 and type connect and paste in the IP. And there you guys go, we're connecting to our newly made 5M server. And since HG Network has already done all the port forwarding steps for you, you'll be able to join straight away, unlike pretty much every other provider out there. Hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below what video you guys want to see next. Be sure to get your next server hosting from HGNetwork.1 for probably one of the most reliable and affordable VPS 5M server hosting out there. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.